Today we're going to be trying out a Lyman 147 grain cast bullet that I casted up for the first time. And we're going to try this in my Canik TP9 SFX and in my SIG P365XL. And that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Now I'll tell you a little bit about the round before we get started. As I said, this is a Lyman 147 grain. And we got loaded up with 3.3 grains of bullseye. Now disclaimer, you guys do your own uh, load workup. Do not go off of mine. This is published data, but make sure you go off yours for your gun and do everything you need for your gun because your gun and my gun are different. So we're going to shoot the P365XL first. So let's go ahead and get started. We are out here at about the 12 yard line where I normally like shooting from. We got these loaded up here and I'm just going to shoot at the big silhouette that's hanging on the frame just to see if I can get my aim with these because I've never shot these bullets before or anything this heavy. So I'm going to see where my aim is. Let's get started. All right, looks like we're hitting that one no issue. Let's try the little silhouette. Okay, I got to aim a little bit high with these. All right, shot all of those just fine. Let's grab another magazine. Now, before we fire the second mag, some of you guys might be looking at my SIG here and being like, how do you got that picker rail adapter for your brass catcher on that? I do have an adapter on this here, and I will have a review coming up on it that lets you go from a SIG rail to a pick rail. It's kind of nice. We'll go over that at a different time, though. Let's go ahead shoot our second magazine here of the 147 grains now i'm just going to transition i'm going to start with that center silhouette and move to the left and then to the right there we go let's try the little plate Man, all around that little plate, maybe I got to aim up higher. There we go. Had to aim way high above that plate. Try it one more time. All right, got it on the last one. I'm liking these rounds. All right, we got 15 more rounds loaded up. Let's go ahead and just go back and forth from left to right. Alright, they're working just fine. Alright, last magazine for the SIG here. I don't have a full magazine, so let's just pop these all off on that uh, silhouette that's on the middle stand. Working just good. Got to aim a little bit higher, but once you know where to aim, all these fire just fine. Let's move on and grab the Canik. All right, now we got the Canik out here, and I haven't shot this gun in a long time. So we are definitely going to go at that big silhouette here and figure out where the aim is on this. I really like shooting this gun, but for some reason I don't shoot it that much. So let's try this. I'm going to aim right dead center and see where it goes. Get this to go back here to catch the brass a little bit better. Alright, not too bad. Let's move to a little silhouette. This gun, I've always liked it. These Canics, at least the ones I've shot, they are awesome. They're like dead on no matter what weight. Throw the bullet, man. These things are just great. Yep, I tried to go high like I did with my SIG and then shot right over it. You hold it dead on. Hitting with no problem with this. Let's go back to the small silhouette. All right, let's load up another magazine and try to get that small plate. All right, let's see if we can take that small plate with this. Oop. 
See what we had there? That one didn't go off. We'll go ahead and get that out of there and double check it. Now it looked like it didn't strike the primer on it. So what I'm going to do is, is I put it back in the magazine and I chambered the first round. So the round and chamber right now is not that one, but the one after it will be. So let's go ahead and try that small plate again. Okay, this is the one that didn't fire. Fired that time and we popped the plate. Man, 147 grain really gets that plate moving. There we go. Now let's have some fun. All right, this thing is a lot of fun with this gun. All right, let's get the last magazine and shoot it through this. All right, we got the last magazine loaded up here. It's not a full magazine. So I'm just going to go ahead and have fun with this, going back and forth with it. And then we'll finish out this video and I'll tell you what I think about them. There we go. Oh, we had another one not go. It's in there. Let's see if we got the trigger to reset. Nope. We'll pop that one out here. Fire the rest of these off. All right. I'm going to take a look at that round and we'll see if it'll fire again. And then I'll finish off this video. All right. I got that one round loaded back up here. The primer wasn't hit again. It almost makes me wonder is um i use a hand primer with these and i use the frankfurt arsenal and it almost makes me wonder if i got the primer set too deep and the firing pin ain't reaching them on these that'd be something i'll have to check on my hand primer because that is adjustable on the primer seat i might have them pushed too far forward for the firing pin to hit let's see if it goes off the second time all right no problem that time around let's finish out this video all right what's my thoughts on that lyman 147 grain bullet it shot great in both of them. The only issue I had was a primer issue was nothing to do with the bullet. I did like it in the SIG P365XL. I did have to aim a little bit higher up on the targets. Now that's with a 3.7 inch barrel. Now Mechanic TP9 SFX, that has a 5.2 inch barrel and I could almost hit dead on with it with that. That's one thing I like about that Canic. I normally run 124 grain in it. Now I know I can run my 147 grain cast bullets in it with no issue too. And I really like that. Now the main reason why I bought that mold is it's a steel mold and I can do cast bullets like this. But I also can get zinc and do zinc bullets in it because I have a cast iron pot too. So we're going to make some of those up one day. Andy 79 z 28 sent me some zinc bullets out out of that mold. We're going to try those out first. And then one day I'll cast some up and we'll do some ladder tests on those. But that's why I really wanted that mold. Also, my brother-in-law, he has a hush can, and I got a gun that has a threaded barrel, and I can run those through that also when he's out here. Maybe I can get him out here one day, and we could try that hush can, because I've never done a video with one. So as always, don't forget to check out the links down below. I got links down there to Axle Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear. This is my favorite safety pro I like using. There's other affiliate links down there that does help out the channel. Some of them got discount codes to save you guys money. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God. And I'll see you all on the next one.